All right, we got packages from El GameStop, and oh boy, there's some old Eva goodies in here. Hopes are high. I invested big on Ratchet and Clank in particular. There was a large availability of Ratchet and Clank, and some of my Ratchet and Clank collection is a bit barren, particularly on PS3. So we're gonna see, as always, if we won big. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, again, I spent money at GameStop in the year of 2024 on these old games. We shall see what's in store, so let's not delay any further. If you're into a gentleman wasting his money on a company slowly withering away, you're in the right place. Please do consider subscribing. Okay, first package is actually going to be, let's see, let me, let me do a little bit of field test here. It's gonna be the skinniest one of them all, right? We like to save the biggest and best for last. So let's go ahead, tear this bad boy open. Let's see what we got on the inside for game number one and it is tekken 6 okay hey you know what i've been on a huge tekken kick lately been grinding a lot of tekken 8 as of the time of recording this i have about like 70 hours in the game i haven't even touched like the story or the arcade the character episodes none of that just online ranked play finding a new character and becoming obsessed with them right now my main is claudio serafino or serva right you know how it goes but also i've been really into yoshimitsu and the roster is just so addicting. But where my love for Tekken began, fortunately or unfortunately, was Tekken 6. Uh, this game, ladies and gentlemen, I remember... Let's see if they mention it on the back at all. They talk about it's a sleek, smooth fighter. They don't really show, it looks like, the, the story mode. But I loved how Tekken 6 handled its story mode with this sort of 3D beat-em-up. Kind of like Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Anyway, this feels pretty thick. As you can see, only 13 bucks. Let's see how much... They gave us. Okay. We've got the disc and we've got a pretty thick manual here. This is this is actually pretty surprising. And it's colored. It's illustrated. The ink looking good here. Oh yeah. This is a win. Why do we always start off with such a gigantic win here with GameStop? This is a oh wow, they're promoting Raging Blast on the back. That's a game we gotta play for the first time here on the channel. But let's check the uh, quality of the disc here. See what we're messing with. And, uh, I mean, yeah, it's PS3 Blu-ray, so I guess at the end of the day, it doesn't matter too much. But, yeah, looks really good. So, this is going straight in the collection. I had to hold off on doing a Tekken retrospective for when Tekken 8 came out. I'll have to bide my time until Tekken 9, unfortunately, because I just don't have enough experience with the entirety of the franchise to justify making a video. So, win number one, Tekken 6, my introduction into the franchise. All right, got another package over here. Let's see what's on the inside this one has multiple games inside it i remember seeing a comment that said if you're getting like an individual package and it's not in a box that's pretty good if it's in a box that means it's coming from the warehouse and it's probably going to be like the really whack cases that you don't want in your collection with that said game number two is xenoblade chronicles this is a series that i feel anytime i talk about trails people tell me to go check out xenoblade because i think the creator of xenoblade originally worked at falcom who are the creators of the Trail series. But nonetheless, this is one that I've been wanting to play for a while. Yes, I know there is the Definitive Edition on Switch, but you know I like to show the OG copy here on the channel when we do any sort of playing for the first time, a retrospective. So yeah, got this one on the Wii, and uh, the case is in pretty good condition here. Uh, let's see what we got on the inside here. Okay, we got... We don't have like a manual or anything, but we got the Club Nintendo stuff, we got the disc. All right, everything's looking good here. Uh, I just got to see if online, I guess, if there is a manual of sorts of promoting Return to Dreamland, Netflix. Wow. Netflix getting a promotion here. The Wii Shop channel, throwback to that. And then here on the other side, Skyward Sword. Yep, just a lot of, lot of Wii games getting promoted. Completely blind era for me. I've been boning up my Wii collection a little bit here just because I... Never played many of those games. I, I played Wii Sports. I played uh, Twilight Princess. That was like my favorite Zelda game uh, from the modern age, if you will. Uh, otherwise, though, never really messed too much with the Wii because I didn't like motion controls much. Anyway, the quality of the disc here. I love how there's a reverse cover art. A little bit ripped here, but we can live with that. That's, that's all right. And the disc is in good condition. All right. Awesome. So kind of two wins in a row. That scares me for the rest of this, where the bulk of the games, as it's usually uh, the case, has arrived in one single package right here. And so we're going to go through it one by one and see what we've got. So let's go ahead and do this thing, shall we? All right. 
Daddy GameStop, give me all the luck in the world, will you? Because we've we have not had a episode where we just won every single step of the way there's one game in here there weren't like any really big spenders available but there was one game in here that i was really hoping we'd get in good condition so let's see the next game is not it, oh man <laughs> okay i feel like every time we do a new episode of this, there's a new style of pre-owned casing i i don't remember this is this an old one why do they have so many stickers in here what one two uh three four five six seven why are there so many <laughs> what the hell oh wait am i just being stupid here okay yeah you have the disc we'll we'll take a look at that in a moment here haunt we got to check if maddie's being dumb is this just the design no these are why are there so many stickers on here gamestop employees unite in the comments let me know why y'all are putting so many stickers on on fake cover art yeah these are all why is it one two three four five there's like 10 stickers on this thing Okay, well, it's not like I was gonna keep it anyway, but GameStop really making sure of that. All right, let's slide this back in if it's willing to cooperate. There we go. Let's slide this back in and see what we got for the disc. See how the condition is. And uh, again, pretty good here. But yeah, this is Burnout 3 Takedown. Uh, I was never a big racing game fan, as many of you know, but with racing games that have appealed to me, Burnout was definitely one of them. In particular, I remember when I first discovered GameStop, funny enough, this was one of the first games I had picked up, and I loved it, because Burnout has the absurd, crazy replays when you get into massive car crashes, and as a kid, like, that level of impact just sold me more than traditional racing, like Forza on the Xbox, I wasn't really too big on Need for Speed outside of, I think it was Hot Pursuit on the PSP. So yeah, Burnout was always kind of my racing game. Very arcadey, naturally. It had to be more gamified. Otherwise, I was playing, if you will, racing games like Sonic Riders, like that sort of stuff. But anyway, a dud there for Xbox's Burnout 3 takedown. Now, there's another Xbox game in here that I hope we don't get a dud on. Uh, it's certainly not this one where I, I see they've put all the pre-owned cases in one area. I'm, I'm scared for the rest of this package. But nonetheless, we have Harvest Moon, Tree of Tranquility on the Wii. I know nothing about this franchise. But again, trying to really, you know, fortify the, the Wii. Wait, was the, why is this in reverse? Oh, my gosh. They're, they're, they're doing an Xbox One now over at GameStop. Let's check the, uh, the back of this here. And overall, yeah, looking pretty good again. So quality of discs has been uh, solid a uh this this is a a choice for sure the solid green um disc art but nonetheless the green my favorite color so i can't complain too much but yeah continuing to fortify the wii collection would have loved to get this one complete in box but unfortunately we just get the pre-owned case and yeah harvest moon don't know much about the franchise but i like the art style it looked kind of appealing so i figured why not after this we've got let's see here this one feels all right We've got Toy Story 3, and it's not all right. It's a PS4. No, this is actually one of those, I think, multimedia pre-owned cases they use. But it's Toy Story 3 uh, with nothing really in it. Ah, oh, man. I mean, I already had Toy Story 3 on the Xbox 360. For those who don't know, uh, yeah, one of the best games ever made. Seriously, like I love Toy Story 3 in the toy box mode. It's worth it for that alone. Of course, like the story is just replaying parts of the movie, and that's also pretty good, but the toy box mode is why it's worth it. We'll do an individual retrospective on it one day. Uh, but I already had it on 360 with like the silver case, like the unique edition of it, because I'm obsessed with Toy Story 3. Uh, but I wanted to have a PS3 copy because one day I want to get the platinum trophy, and uh, well, here we are. I mean, they got the cover art, so I guess I just need to buy a, a case and swap it out and then i have it all right let's take a look here at the disc and um we're looking a little man juicy here in the middle if you look closely with me there in the background you'll see yeah little little dried up man juice from gamestop here oh and it's worse on this side check that out Woo. okay Gotta clean that man juice up before selling it to your boy here at Retro Rebound. That's a dangerous play, GameStop. All right, so this has been the uh, the package of duds, that's for sure. Why did I put this back in here? It's been the package of duds for sure, and what I felt on the inside definitely wasn't super encouraging otherwise. So uh, let's go ahead and 
just pull off the band-aid shall we we have another one here and oh boy oh boy Ratchet and Clank are cracking time. This was actually a game that I remember very fondly because Ratchet and Clank, a cracking time was a game that one of my neighbors gave to me as a random birthday gift. We never shared gifts with each other, but he showed up and just gave me a couple games. And one of them was a cracking time. And I was like, huh, I didn't even know they were making Ratchet and Clank games still at that point in time. This is before I was like really well connected and watching videos and tracking releases and so i figured why not let's try it out and a crack in time is really good really 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 good the only reason i never finished it is because the ps3 is broken and i started to encounter heavy freezing about 75 percent into the game but i was adoring ratchet and clank a crack in time and yeah i never got a chance to finish it so i wanted to make right on that and it seems like i'm gonna have to wait as this just has the disc and the disc looks again pretty good no dried up man juice this time so yeah ratchet and clank future sorry a crack in time uh, i really enjoyed the story or, or what i experienced of it there but otherwise another miss here in this package from gamestop pain we have another one in here uh this one is oh man this is the one i was really hoping would be complete ninja guide in black for the original Xbox. Oh my gosh. Oh god, this game is so good. Because Rise of the Ronin is coming out, I wanted to do a retrospective on what I think was like the OG starter of almost the Souls-like game, super difficult, but also stylish. I have such a big spot in my heart for Ninja Gaiden Black. I adore this game. And so I wanted to get it complete in box, but it looks like I'll be taking my talents to eBay now, as you can see here. All we got is the disc for ninja guide in black and again the surface of the disc looking all right here so no concerns on if it'll run or not but uh, this is one i was really hoping to score on above all else because i remember playing this game for the first time as a kid and getting whooped and it was one of those games that you just felt you weren't ready for i think all of us have this shared experience in our childhood where you fire the game up, you get destroyed, you play a bunch of other games, you just go, you know what, I have nothing to play, I don't have any money, I'm just gonna fire this back up and try again. And all of a sudden, everything clicks. And that's what happened with Ninja Gaiden Black, just everything clicked, and you just get on this roll. And it's like, the best feeling I think video games could provide as a kid. So yeah, we got Ninja Gaiden Black here, and uh, yeah, that's very painful. So now, it's time to do some price checking, because one thing I noticed here, is GameStop doing GameStop things, is I was going through my whole order off camera for a moment here and then i checked my order online and i'm missing two ratchet and clank games not one but two i'm missing into the nexus and all for one which were supposed to be in my orders one was supposed to come with xenoblade the other was supposed to come with tekken and as you saw uh, there was nothing in those packages so we're gonna go ahead and pull out the receipts here and and see just exactly if uh, gamestop has truly failed us all right so we got the receipts here what's funny is gamestop must be watching because they're no longer putting the prices on the receipts huh that's interesting so you can see here ninja guide in black xbox xenoblade chronicles Wii. um i know ninja guide in black was around 20 dollars. xenoblade chronicles was also around like 25 bucks toy story 3 was around the 10 dollar mark ratchet and clank or Cracking time was closer to 20 burnout was really cheap below 10 bucks and hard this moon uh, was around I think the $16 mark and then Tekken 6 you already saw on the box itself was a $13 game but as you can see here no mentioning of my ratchet and clank so what I'm going to do is quickly step outside while the camera's running here and see if GameStop maybe delivered something and <laughs> make sure that it's not like in my mailbox or something so i'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go get take a quick look here because it's gonna bug me if i don't five hours later all right well i don't know if it shows it really doesn't but uh it was pouring out there however i did find it we have more games to unbox here i swear how do i get dressed in the morning i <laughs> all right well anyway good news for everybody the unboxing continues on. I was like, why is this feeling so light? And now we know why, because I am stupid. So let's hope this case lets us, oh, all right. It was not all for one. It was full frontal assault, 18 bucks. I found this one interesting because it has cross by with the PlayStation Vita. I remember this used to be a big selling point for me. It's a big Vita head. Oh my God. Like anytime I saw a game with that stamp on the top right corner, I was all over it. Like Sly Thieves in Time, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Cross-buy was the wave. And so here we have Full Frontal Assault. 
I never played this game. Um, the back of the box says explore the battlefield, defend your base, and not. Oh, it was the base defense one. Yeah, one day we'll do a big retrospective on Ratchet and Clank games. It's one of those series I'm, I've been saving for a rainy day, but I feel like I just gotta start pulling the trigger on some of these. Like some of my childhood series, Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank. We've done one dedicated Sly Cooper retrospective, and that's like one of my favorite franchises of all time. I'm too obsessed at times of waiting for the right time, where it's just like, I just gotta do it, right? So anyway, let's see what's on the inside here. All right, so this is okay. This is basically complete in box for a modern copy because there's a reverse cover art with the controls, which substitutes the manual. You have the disc here. So I'll take this and the game's in good condition. The case is in especially good condition and nice and snappy, no dust, no grime. So this one was pulled right off store shelves. So that's pretty good. So we will definitely take that win there. And then I don't know how many more we have left. Okay, this is one more. This has to be Ratchet and Clank again. And it is, and it is, yes an actual copy of the game. So we're ending pretty strong here. I told you all, I told you all that your boy had Ratchet and Clank on lock this episode. Unfortunately, the one I cared about the most, Kraken Time, uh, did not come complete in box. But here we have Into the Nexus. I remember getting a review code from Insomniac for this one. It was a cheaper, I think $30 Ratchet and Clank title. No one really talks about it nowadays here, but it says on the top right that it does come with Quest for Booty. Oh my God, the digital download game here. I forgot about that one too. See, there's so many little Ratchet and Clank games. That's why, not to go off topic here, but the Insomniac hack that happened was really sad to see also as a consumer because you look at all the Marvel games they're doing, which I'm kind of excited for, but there's only one Ratchet and Clank game headed our way. And you think about how much we got, and I guess I get it, but like that's a staple, man. You got to keep doing that. Anyway, we have Into the Nexus here. Back of the box looks great too. Lighter gravity, heavier weapons. Ratchet and Clank must track down space criminals, Vendra, and Neftin Prague in an abandoned sector of the galaxy. And here on the inside, we have a download slip. Not bad. We have the reverse cover art. So again, this is pretty much complete. And this is the download code for Quest for Booty, which has already long since expired, unfortunately. So now we just got to see how does this snap together? Ooh, not a great case. You have to adjust it a little bit, but okay, that works for me. So there we go. Thank goodness I went to the mailbox because we get to go from ending on a sour note to ending on a pretty strong note. So the wins here today go to Ratchet and Clank, Full Frontal Assault, Xenoblade Chronicles, kind of a win. I like that it came with the box. Definitely Tekken 6 and Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus. So the PS3 collection is seeing some pretty noteworthy additions here, which makes me happy. I actually kind of didn't waste my money there. However, on the other side of the fence here, I have to grab this much larger stack of games that are all duds. We have Ninja Guide in black, flop. We have Kraken Time, flop. We have this, get out of here. We have Toy Story 3, flop. We have Harvest Moon, flop. And we have Burnout 3 Takedown with a million stickers, flop. And so this is the series of flops. So we missed out on five. We nailed, I'd say, three and a half if you don't want to really count Xenoblade Chronicles. So overall, not our worst, not our best. I wish we got a crack in time, personally, as the one that was complete. But as you see here, there weren't really many heavy hitters. When I went on the website, the way it's organized now is really different in that it used to be what was on the first couple of pages is what's available. So I saw things like Sonic Adventure 2. I was like, oh, perfect. Like, that's a huge one right there. I saw a few others, and they just weren't available. So it was really weird the way it was sorted, where I was going to, like, page 20 and finding things that were available, but things on, like, page 3 weren't. So it was a little bit of a deeper dive this time around. A little more slim pickings, and that's why we're kind of spacing them out more and more. And why, yes, before anyone asks, we're going to spotlight more retro game shops locally. We're going to spotlight maybe more of, like, the weird Amazon unboxings and whatnot. I like doing these. Uh, they, they're a ton of fun, even if they hurt my soul a little bit, but I know it's all for the smile on your face, and that makes it worth it. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for tuning into another GameStop unboxing. It's good to be leaving this one, not with my soul ripped to shreds. I hope you enjoyed this, and please do take great care of yourselves, and I will catch you on the next Retro Rebound. Peace out.